Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in the Accenture exam on 9th of February 2022. Guys, this is second video on the 9th February questions. The first video has already been uploaded on my channel. You can visit this playlist. I will give this link of the playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it because some of the questions get repeated or they are of same kind. So make sure that any video that I upload on this channel regarding Accenture coding question, you are watching it. So kindly subscribe the channel for all the notifications. Guys, uh, join my Telegram groups also. I am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions we are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, first we will be discussing the question, then we will be discussing the approach of the question and then in the last part of this video, I will be telling you how to write the code for this question. So, okay, so the question here is, Adam decides to, decides to be generous and do some charity. Starting from today, from day one, until day one, until the day end, he gives I square coins to the charity on ith day. Now, we have to tell that given the number of days, how many coins he will be giving in charity so first of all input let's just see with the help of example input is two that is two days he will uh, do the charity and it is given the question that on the ith day he will give he will give the i square coins so how many total amount of coins he will be giving after two days it will be output is five how the output is five so let's just see the explanation is also given here so on the first day he will give i square that is one into two on the first day one square two uh, 1 to the power 2 equal to 1 coin on the second day 2 to the power 2 is 4 coins so it he will give 4 coins so on first day he will give 1 coin on second day he will give 4 coins so total coins will be 1 plus 4 that is 5 coins so there how it is that is on input 2 it will be 5 so now let's just see that on input 3 what will be the number of coins he will be giving so number uh, total days are 3 so on the first day he will give 1 coin on the second day, he will give 2 to the power 2, that is 4 coins. On the third day, he will give 3 to the power 2, that is 9 coins. So, total is 1 plus 4 plus 9, that is 14 coins. So, after 3 days, he will be given total 14 coins in charity. So, this is the entire question and I have told you the approach also. So, now let's just directly move to the coding part because the code, uh, the question is not very difficult. It is very easy and it is one of a basic kind of question that can be asked. So, we just have to we just have to add the coins on the i day that is we just have to do this thing sum plus is equal to i square where i will be a variable that will be denoting the days so on the first day i will be one then i will be two till the nth day that will be given to us as an input so let's just now directly move to the coding part of this video okay so guys uh, now we'll be writing the code now in Accenture exam, we just have to implement the function that is an input will be given to us and we have to return an output that is return value is also int and input value is also int for this particular question. We just have to implement this function. So first of all, what we have to do in the question, we have to return the total amount of coins that he will be giving in the charity after n, n days and uh, on the i day, he will be giving i square coins. So this is what we are given in the question. So what we'll do first of all, we will take a sum variable. So int sum is equal to zero. So this uh, sum variable will contain the total amount of coins he will be giving after the nth day. So now what we'll do, we will loop over the days for int i is equal to 1, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. Now this n value can vary according to the question. For a particular test case, it can be 2. For other test case, it can be 9, 10. So n represents the number of days. And every day he will be giving the i square coins. So what we'll do for every day, we are looping through all the days. And for every day, that is this iteration, we are doing some plus is equal to i square. What is i square? That is i into i. That is the number of coins he will be giving in the, on the i at day. So, these are the number of coins he will be giving on the i at day and we are, we are adding all these coins in a single sum variable. So, in the end of this loop, we will simply return the sum value because this sum value will contain the num total number of coins given to the charity in these n days. So, now I hope the entire thing is clear to you. Now let's just test for a particular input. Let's just give us two and our expected value should be five. And again, I'm seeing that in Accenture, you just have to implement the function. So for two, it is five. For three, it will be, I have told you earlier that it will be 14. So let's just confirm it. And 
it will pass all the test cases that will be given to you so you can see for 3 it is 14 so this was the entire question now the uh, the solution that i provided will pass all the test cases that will be given to you guys if you like the video kindly share it among your friends because more such exchanger videos will be coming on this channel and do not forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel thank you for watching this video